Good day. Today I can congratulate everyone for one more week of your company. Thank God it's Friday and our body and soul knows it. It is mercy I want, no sacrifice. In the famous novel Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, Jean Valjean, a convict recently released from the galleys, betrays the bishop that treats him kindly and cordially, running away in the middle of the night with the bishop's silverware and ornate candlesticks under his arm. The next day he is brought back by the police, but the bishop claims that he had given to him these things as a gift, so he should be set free. But Jean is absolutely overwhelmed by this act. He heads away from town struggling to understand how and why the bishop didn't obey the laws of judgment and revenge that seem to Virgin to define society. Although there are similar cases closer to our daily life and personal experience, we know that fictional characters such as Jean Virgin are not far from the reality. I understand that we need rulers and laws in our society with the purpose of living in harmony with one another, but in terms of validating mutual respect and consideration for others. A synodal church reflects in those systems that contribute from the organization point of view in helping not only to be a sustainable experience as a social group, but in terms of the well-being of each one of its members. The transformation rules of guidelines are not re relevant if they don't contribute to this purpose. We can have the best people prepared to do ministry in our communities. We can even create the perfect system for administration and even a healthy finance in our church. But if these transformations do not aim to help us in journeying together, then we will fail in our greatest call. In St. Paul's words, if I speak in tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am not only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries of all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess for to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Let us be benevolent and kind, and if we discover in our life some details that do not fit at the heart of this disposition, now it is a good time to rectify them by formulating some effective purpose in our lives.